suggestion that you made a, a few weeks ago you know I would actually try to make it so what this is <laughs> oh my god <laughs> does it work it does it does so this is a flip down um, clock I don't even know the official name all right I've, I've adjusted it so it flips a bunch of numbers so it should be going here now um, so originally it had a 110 volt um, motor that ran at a very specific speed and it went through a gear train and then out an output shaft and another gear that would slowly drive at um, one, one revolution per minute to, to cause these numbers to, to flip by one per minute. But since I didn't have 110 volts to feed this motor, I had to take apart a CD-ROM drive and take a nice <laughs> gear reduced motor out of the CD-ROM drive. And then I machined the, the gear so that it would fit onto that shaft. And then I took a, an accurate clock base um, so I could derive, you know, one motor turn on event per minute and uh, fed it through some circuitry. It takes a lot of batteries right now. I could actually reduce this down, but I was just in the sake of, of getting it um, done in a hurry. And it even has an alarm function on it. <laughs> so you can set an alarm, and when it hits that, it, it pushes a switch over, and then you could cause... I was thinking hook my iPod Nano up to it so that it would press the play button, perhaps. So, this, this was a lot of fun. This was fun to put together. I, I look forward to uh, optimizing a little bit better. I have some theories of how I can accurately monitor whether the, the cards have flipped or not by um, watching how many revolutions happen on this little motor. So, so that's, that is my, I guess you could call it steampunk flip down clock wristwatch. Yeah, yeah. Does anyone well, know what these things are called? I have. Besides getting thrown in prison? Uh, They're called prison? Jerry Ellsworth's now. We're, we're naming them after you, Jerry. You, you, you have really claimed that. Oh, my God. I would like to uh, take it with me, but I'm afraid to take it through the airport. I mean, it's got numbers clicking by, and it's got all these wires hanging out of it. Airport. Yeah. Yeah. I might have you know, to. For the alarm part of it, Jerry, can I just suggest maybe just using the ringer off of an old telephone or if an old alarm clock, something goes, ring, 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 you know, mechanical bells. Something mechanical. It was a fun project. I recommend everyone go out and get an old alarm clock radio and do this. It, it wasn't too hard and uh, it was a whole lot of fun.